the distribution layer is the layer that is the most burdened. It is shouldering the load. You know when you've got a when you're going hiking, you've got a backpack on and you, you're loading somebody up, hopefully it isn't you. This is that person that has the extra load that they're bearing. That's how we want it. Why? Well, we don't want the core to do anything fancy for us. High speed, all that jazz, that's the core. The distribution layer, this is about doing all the nasty work for us. Route summarization, access list for security, uh, that sort of thing. So when we talk about the distribution layer, it aggregates nodes and uplinks. What does this really mean? It means that we've got our VLANs that run at the access layer. They, that's a broadcast domain. And that's, that, that broadcast domain has to terminate somewhere. It terminates on the distribution layer. And it terminates in such a way that these devices serve as the default gateways for the clients that is ex exist within the subnet. So I'm going to have lots of clients plugged in here, right? And they're going to have connections over to the layer two switches. They're going to be plugged into the layer two switches. You get the idea. Now, who's their default gateway? Their default gateway is the distribution device that they are anchored to. And in fact, we can have this be redundant. We can do things like first hop redundancy protocols that allow for us to have a virtual default gateway running at the distribution layer. And when we have that layer three construct, default gateway, it gives us a lot more things. Security. We can do router-based access control lists for security, just to name a little bit. Quality of service, definitely a possibility at the distribution layer of our topology. And that's the story. We want to be layer three, terminate the VLANs. That's important. VLANs do not cross into the core. Let's say we have VLANs uh, 32 through 47. 16 VLANs in total. It's inclusive of 32, so that's how we get the 16. And these VLANs might exist all throughout here, okay? They don't cross into the core. Different subnets exist in the core. And that is imperative in today's modern architecture. And so that, that gives us the means of doing things like filtering.